Hello Pisces, this is your bonus reading for the first two weeks of September for Pisces. Looking for positive energies to come in, or at least new energies for Pisces. Five card spread. But you know, it will not resonate with all Pisces individuals. Keep that in mind. Oops, did that earlier. Let's see what's going on. Gaining energy. Hmm. Some of you are doing with the Queen of Discs. This could be an Earth element, Earth sign. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They're in reverse. Someone's not feeling real stable and secure. This could be you taking on this energy, even though it's not your sign. It's just that it's called regaining stability, regain, regaining control with the Queen of Discs in reverse, you know? Could be that you're dealing with someone that's just not feeling well, someone older. In the past, there was manipulative situations, things you were trying to deal with. It could be some of you were trying to manifest something and could not with the magician in reverse. Obstacle is you're carrying a heavy burden. You're oppressed. Maybe you're just taking on too much with the Ten of Wands. Current environment, you're trying to regain balance. You're trying to work on things, but it seems like everything is... Uh, getting in your way of some sort. You are trying to uh, recover from something. Could be an oppressive situation as we see here. Outside environment beyond con your control, somebody dropped the ball on something or change is not happening fast enough for you, but change is coming. Remember, we're having a lot of tense energies coming in the first two weeks of September for everybody. So don't think it's just you because it's not. In the end, you're still feeling like you're not getting wish fulfillment in the first couple of weeks of September. It's just not that it's not happening. It's just that you're not feeling it. Like I said, the energies are stressed. Maybe you're overworked. Maybe you're overdoing something and you feel like everybody else is dropping the ball on you. But it's just that energy, like I said. Let's go back to the past ener you know, the past card of the magician in reverse. The magician in reverse, why are you there for Pisces in the beginning of September? Why are you there? Yeah, you feel like all the options that are coming towards you are just not good for you. So for some of you, you may not manifest on the options that are out there in the past because they, they, they weren't good. And some of you will be dealing with um, manipulative people that you turn down. You just you don't feel like you want to deal with it. So you may turn down um, situations because that's the Seven of Cups in reverse because you want a passionate new beginning. You're wanting something else with the Ace of Wands. It could be that somebody offers you something from the past. Um, that's passionate and you're like, no, because you fear um, manipulation, you know. Now, the obstacle is the Ted and Wands. You got, you're carrying too much, you know. And usually it's a uh, physical labor sometimes, but it's also about um, your passions or, you know, you just don't have a lot of passion there because, you know, you're just too much on you right now. So the Ten of Wands in the upright for Pisces, why are you there as the obstacle? And you still have hope. You're hoping for something, but you're also under a, a huge burden. So the Ten of Wands in the upright, the Star card in the upright, why there's the obstacle for Pisces. I also see some of you putting all your hopes into something that's causing you a burden. Why are you there for Pisces? Yeah, and you just don't know which way to go. You don't know how to unrelease this burden with a high priestess in reverse. You're having trouble tapping into your inner self of what you're wanting to do. Am I going to make the right decisions? Am I doing the right thing with the high priestess in reverse? Sometimes it has to do with secrets, un, you know, unveiled, but not always, you know. Current environment, the art card, also known as temperance in reverse. You don't feel really stable in the situations you're doing so you can work on them. You feel like you're, like I said, um, oppressed in some way. So the art card in reverse while you're there for Pisces as the current environment. Could be dealing with the Knight of Swords, could be air sign, could be a 
Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, you're feeling an imbalance with this person or just with words and situations and doing things in general. It's like your energy is zapped. So the art card, Knight of Swords, both in reverse while you're there for Pisces as the current environment. You may need a vacation. Yeah, and you may put an end to something because of that. Something is so heavy with you or in your life that you feel like I may have to drop it. And the reason is that beyond your control is something um, dropped with you. You know, maybe something didn't uh, change the way you wanted it to. And you, you're you wanting to um, reevaluate a situation altogether. Because like I said, you're under a burden. Now, the um, outside environment is the Two of Pentacles. It could be that you're going to drop a situation from the outside environment too, okay? Why are you there? Two of Pentacles. In reverse, why are you there? as the outside environment with the queen of disc. Maybe the queen of disc drops something with you or you drop something with them or you're th thinking it's just too hard. It's just too hard. The queen of disc, it could be male or female. You know, we, it's not like that in the, in Tarot. Um, it's basically how someone is reacting to a situation. And this queen of discs is not putting all their effort in or they feel like they can't with you and something got dropped. Maybe it's because they're not feeling well. Maybe because um, they feel like they were manipulative or maybe they feel like it's too hard too. But like I said, I'm reading this for Pisces and Pisces may not um, go with the situation because like I said, it's too much of a burden. Now the two of pentacles, queen of disc in reverse as the outside environment. Why are you there for Pisces? Why are you there? Again, it could be the princess of swords. You're dealing with a couple of situations here. Something's this got you weighed down. Also, like I said, messages that are straight to the point that may be coming towards you where someone says, I'm going to drop something. Or you may send a message to the outside people. I'm going to drop something for now because I can't carry everything on my shoulders in the end um someone is going to feel like they didn't get wish fulfillment with you or you don't feel like you got wish fulfillment for, with them or it could be the reason all, why this is all happening because you're just not happy with whatever you're going through so the nine of cups in reverse why you there's a final outcome for pisces yeah you're feeling like you're gonna just not go with something, start something new with somebody. And maybe, like I said, you're still dealing with past issues with something else, with the universe in reverse. And it's not over yet. Whatever you're going through, it's not over quite yet. You're just going to possibly put something from you. Well, part of it is over and something else isn't over. So you're going to maybe like drop a situation totally because you got to work on something else it's, it's just too much going on and i see that also with that two of pentacles something is too much and you must drop one to take care of the other so nine of cups the universe both in reverse is the final outcome for pisces why you're there yeah you're trying to break free it also could be that you find out something with the Seven of Swords in reverse and it and is revealed to you. So therefore, for some of you I'm feeling this, you got a lot going on and you, you can't do it all, okay? Because I'm thinking in the past something manipulative happened. Even though you were trying for a new passionate beginning or someone with you, you're oppressed over it. And you were hopeful, but I think you took on too much than you can handle, too much more than you can chew, you know? And it's made you unbalanced, and you're saying, I have to drop it. And you may have to drop it with the Knight of Swords, or the Knight of Swords dropped it with you. The outside environment, it could also be saying with the Two of Pentacles, things haven't changed with the Queen of Discs and the Princess of Swords. One thing needs to be dropped or the energy, one thing needs to be dropped because you're just too unhappy. And you, in a way, you're trying to break free. For some of you, with the Ace of Swords, you may try to um, withhold the truth of what you're trying to do. Trying to curb those energies. But the more you try to curb them, the more it just becomes a mess with the Ace of Swords in reverse. You, you feel like you're not going to get your overall satisfaction and you may go within so you can handle it all and become happy again 
with the sun in the upright. So you may take even a little bit of a break because like I said, you're under such stress. So you may go within the Hermit, which you need to do. Sometimes the Hermit card is there so we can recover from whatever stress we are under. Maybe things got out of control, like I said, but the Ace of Swords in reverse is like someone, it could be someone speaking their truth, but it comes out wrong. Could be saying somebody, it's like a odd way of communicating, you know, but for you to be happy, you need to take a break and let go of some burdens because they're getting too much and, and be, keep to yourself for a little bit. Think about what you're wanting to go next so you can be happy with the sun card. Because that's the only way you're going to be happy again is to release a bunch of burdens that are just weighing you down. And I'll be giving a mid-September's reading because I like to know what's going on. Like I said, it could carry on from that. I did see a lot of changes in your last reading. And even though a lot of people didn't want that, change is necessary for us to get better. If we get stay stuck in the past, it gets stagnant. And it just, how can I say it? Decays. You don't want that. Change is good, even so, even though sometimes it can be a little painful or burdensome and exhausting. And therefore, we must change so we can get our happiness again. Okay, I'm going to let this go and I will talk to you later. Bye.